are, of course, on the double steps or the single steps. The jumps are in place. Uh, so the line is a double step to right shoulders. In line. So you form one line, right shoulders. <laughs> the jump is there. It shouldn't be like that, actually. <laughs> Steps. Could be fun in this space. The single steps. You start off right, but turn left. So it's like a um, yeah. So it's like a what what you do is a question mark. You come up in, ease off right, but turn left to come back to your partner's position. Again, yeah, you want to get a demo from Adrian and Cliff. So to right shoulders, where the jump occurs, go off left, but to, go off right, but turn left, back to place, and then right shoulders again, coming back, and again right. So it's a bit, it's a bit more yeah. <laughs> Alright, everyone got that? Let's try that. This is the, this is the closest thing we get. To a Cotswold figure. Okay, short intro again. <laughs> Sue, no, 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 not across. Sue, you just turn a little. Denise comes. 
to your right shoulder. Um, yeah, Rian, a bit further back. So, so the aim is to make a Mercedes sign. Right? The, 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 the three pairs are radial. And that's where the jump... Sorry? Anyone know what they're 
called OS. Um, short broad and silver. Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course it is. Um, so the, now the reason I'm doing it now is it depends upon your trios again. So let's take what the first trio do. The first trio simply dance into the middle of the set, a bit like sphincter. Okay, double step, the jump is there, and then sliding round um, clockwise a bit, the four singles take you to your opposite position. Which is of course which will currently be occupied. <laughs>
Meanwhile, one and two do a kind of shifty half-back <laughs> diagonal double step to get, to get in between them. You need to move out a bit for that part of it. So you're, so you're making a line, and whilst that's going on, five and six do their double step to the yeah, outer corners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to stagger. Yes. You may want to <laughs> and that's where the jump occurs. Then you've got four single steps. The first single step, everyone turns to face the middle of the line. So that's the first step on the left. The second one. Uh, one and two turn down and out of the way a little, just no, just a quick down, whilst the rest close the gap on that step. Then that's the second double step, uh, the single step. Third singles, they go down a little bit more, and you just slot in behind, you close the gap. And the fourth single, everyone is making a, a set down. Down, you're still facing down. Okay, so double to line, jump, you kind of implode. <laughs> so it's an interior cast. Now, when you get to here, one and two go that away. So it's basically a sideways double step. No, 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 well, it won't matter in here, really, because we've got so little space. But generally speaking, if you, if you come forward at all, five and six can't, get, can't make it. Um, you just come to their shoulders inside, and you come into the middle. And then the four single steps, yeah, that's a jump. And the four single steps, one, everyone turns 90 degrees right, uh, left.
So if we take alternate sets, so one, two, um, three, maybe at the back, and four up here somewhere. So if we can have a set in each corner, basically, that makes sense.
can identify the people in your set. <laughs>
got to be back quickly, so you're ready for the next figure. Shall we do the whole dance? You want to do the chorus again? We'll do the chorus one more time, and then we'll do the whole dance and maybe leave out cast.
actually, the, the, one of the problems with Adatil is um, many of the dances actually move you about the set during the chorus. <coughs> so you end up being in a different place for OS from where you started the dance. Um, we might get onto one of those a little bit later, perhaps. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and the other problem with Adatil is it does tend to be a bit expansive from the from the main sort of set size. So we'll look at uh, we'll look at another hanky dance I think that um, listen, it's all done within a set. Uh, it's called uh, we come from Bedfordshire. We use uh, our Captain Cridal Hands, which is a tune used for to be a pilgrim, who he who would finally be. And that ties in with um, John Bunyan. between ends and middle 
much facing out. Okay, so circle, three or four steps, just three or four, just to give ourselves room. Facing out.
around the set, which does make it difficult. Um, we'll do a stick dance.
Using sticks, we don't do this kind of stuff. <coughs> so we simply press them on the show and we are the interviews. Right, I think what might be an idea is to do that half and half again. And uh, okay. so we so do you all feel this way? No, I'll just do it then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
highly useful and not, not that useful. Not expecting many people to show up. Well, not that useful. I mean, actually, the dancing for fewer than six means you need more space. Because each, each set take, still takes the same sort of amount of In fact, I think if, if you're dancing with twos and threes, you need to be big. So dancing for 18. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a good idea. But we do do a dance for five. That's fewer than six. Uh, that's fewer than six. Uh, this is another hanky dog, but it does mean some adjustment runs up.
figure is going to be um, line, but it will start with two straight lines. Number one is a cross now with um, in the odds line, basically. Uh, the chorus does that. The chorus, yeah, the chorus, you come out of the chorus like this, and then the line is just as before, except the two always come into the middle of the three. So you come into a line, do your question mark, and then into the middle again, and the same thing. At the end of the next chorus, number one is again at the top of the set, and we do triangle, but each point, it's exactly the same, except there is a point with only one dancer at each time. So number one begins by dancing with him or herself, whilst the others form the triangle as usual. And do the turns. And then number one goes on in their direction. So everyone goes on to the next point. And there'll be, in the number six position, there'll be somebody dancing on their own. Well, I do
just form a cast as usual. Number one will turn on their own to face down and get out of the way. The others come in behind in pairs. And then, <laughs> number one obviously, when you're down in this position, number one can't have obviously split apart. Well, so, number one stays on it as they are, but the others do split. And then turn to finish.
six does this, although you all have to do it when you come to the end of the line. Have we all passed?
year dancing because because these passes are literally one, two, three, four, five.
because uh, we used to have a member of the team who wore a two, yeah, mobby cap, sort of a yellow and green felt thing. Um, when we when we had a fool, we had a fool in those days. Now we've got twelve. But, uh, anyway, um, and we called it that because sadly he was our first member to die. And as I say, it's a um, it's a dance that we dance for absent friends, and that's why it's called Motley Cat, basically. Um, so anyway. Uh, so, Victor, <laughs> transverse hay, um, OY, the axis hay, and we'll finish with the next. <laughs> Thank you. 